So where did it all start? At school, I really liked making things. My physics teacher suggested I study engineering. I didn't even know what engineering was. Having found out, it's just solving problems. I really enjoy that. So I went to university, I got my degree. I was sponsored by Rolls-Royce Industrial Power Group, which meant I got training at industrial power stations. I got training in factories. I then left there and worked in a small company that made firefighting equipment. I did research for them. That research, when I wrote it up, gave me a PhD, a PhD in bubbles, to find out how firefighting foam was made. Engineering has opened up many exciting opportunities for me. I've worked in Nepal looking at solving a problem of getting tourist goods up a hill by using a cable car. I've worked in Hong Kong where I was looking at putting water cannons onto firefighting tugs. I've also worked in the space industry which has taken me across to the States and also here in the UK. I was working on a really small item and I didn't know how it all fitted together with all the rest of the rocket. So that inspired me to write the book, It's Only Rocket Science, an introduction in plain English, which explains every part of building a rocket without the maths and the formulae. More recently, I've been working with the theme park on the Isle of Wight with their robotic dinosaurs. This has led me to going out to China, collaborating with the engineers over there, and then they're actually making the dinosaurs. Working with these robotic dinosaurs has been a really exciting project. We've actually put a Raspberry Pi inside them to control them. And the opportunities that the Raspberry Pi has shown me means that I can make all sorts of stuff. Working with the robot dinosaurs has been great. Not only can I program them, but the whole of the staff at Black Gang Chine, the theme park, can program them as well. If they want the dinosaurs to roar at closing time, they can. If they want all the dinosaurs to look up and track someone as they walk past, they can. But the best bit about it is watching families, particularly the children, being absolutely terrified by these dinosaurs. Now I use my engineering every day. I have a portfolio career. I'm still working in the space industry, but I'm still making things. So if you like problem solving, if you enjoy working with computers, if you enjoy electronics, if you enjoy making things, come and get involved. There are various opportunities in real life, but you can also go online. The Element 14 community is a great space where people are having fun, collaborating and making projects.